Are you listening? <laughs> virtual Garage, an online car show based in the virtual world of Beam NG Drive. Brought to you by High Volt Entertainment and Gavril. Gavril, for all your light duty, heavy duty, pickup truck, van, and SUV needs. Come see us at West Coast Gavril. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Virtual Garage. Actually headed back to the shop right now. We're going to get some work done on our 200 VX drift build. We're actually uh, cruising in our V10 hopper. Swerving all over the road trying to turn the dang blinker off. Still on. There we go. Cruising in our V10 hopper. This thing is a beast. We got it back from the paint shop. Got a nice like dark charcoal going on there with the uh, black stripes uh, on the side matching the black rims. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Go ahead and pull it into the sun here. We'll give it a, a quick look. You guys definitely let me know what you think down in the uh, comment section below. I think it's a pretty sweet little ride here. Like I said, it does run that uh, ETK uh, V10. Let's go ahead and pull the hood off and check that out real quick. So there's that V10. Let's go ahead and get a closer look of it. ETK V10. Right out of one of their, uh, you know, I think SBRs or something like that. You can see we got the 19-inch uh, ETK rims to match it. So a uh, pretty sweet build, like I said, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in the garage and get some work done on our 200BX. Really ready to get this thing uh, sort of buttoned up and finished up. That way we can start our next build, right? So there's our 200BX drift build, guys. Huge shout out to everybody that has been uh, hitting up the poles and being engaged in that. You guys have picked everything that we've done on this thing uh, pretty much so far. Today we are going to be uh, installing the interior back in it, installing the body kit on it, and basically uh, getting this thing buttoned up and ready to do some drifting. Uh, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and uh, crank this thing up. Listen to that V8. It's definitely ready out, ready to uh, get out there and shred some tires. Do a quick burnout. This thing is going to be sick when it gets that body kit on it. This thing is definitely going to be sick once we get it finished up here guys so let's go ahead and uh, kill the engine go ahead and pull up our vehicle config menu here and uh, get this build underway um, I do believe this is probably going to finish it up here so the next video that we do we'll actually take this thing out to the drift track uh, do some testing and tuning with it right see uh, see what's going on um, luckily we did have D Torx's uh, 200 BX mod hit the uh, mod workshop or the uh, mod uh, the in game mod repository that we have here in Beam and G Drive so we have all those sweet new parts that we're going to be able to use on this thing to really uh, trick it out uh, but the first thing we want to do is actually add the uh, rocket bunny style uh, fender flares here now we have the turbo bunny is the uh, stock sort of uh, Beam and G parts so let's go ahead and throw those on there check that out real quick then we do have these over fenders as well that are actually part of that detorx mod so might uh, go ahead and uh, switch up some parts here see which ones we think looks best you guys definitely uh, give me your opinion down in the comment section below check out these over fenders and there they go there's the over fenders definitely gives you a little bit different look uh, comes you know, swooping down in the front a lot more it's got this little back panel there so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and run those. Let's go ahead and throw them on the front fenders as well. The front fenders out there they are. Go ahead and install those over fenders. And like I said, that was the uh, Detorx 200 BX mod. Definitely uh, recommend you guys go and install that if you do play the game. So there we go. There's our fender flares all the way around. Now we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Sort of like I said, pick the uh, best body panels, pick the stuff that we need to uh, go along with it. You can of course see down here is not lining up with those stock sort of uh, side side skirts. So
So there's the, uh, so I don't know guys, I think the wide body is going to be the way to go here. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I kind of, you know, that, that weird line, that body line going down the car, I don't really like it, but with the other bumpers, you know, it sort of took that away and sort of broke up that line that's everywhere else on the vehicle. So I think this is going to be the way to go. Let's go ahead and throw the headlights and everything like that back in it. Front bumper support. Alright guys, so this build is looking sick, but we got to get the uh, rear end buttoned up here. So let's see what sort of rear bumper uh, combos we got going on. Low mount spoiler, let's check that out. I don't think I've uh, seen that one before. That must be, might be part of the D-Torx mod. I'm not really sure where the heck that one come from. I do have over, uh, <laughs> whoa. Okay, that's definitely a low mount wing. Low mount spoiler. Um, I have like almost 200 different mods loaded in here guys so some of these mods I have no idea where they actually came from so uh, let's go ahead and keep going here let's see uh, the detorx rear bumper all sorts of dual exhaust bumpers here let's see what we're working with uh, that just looks like the standard rear bumper now move to a different spot. I hate when it does that. Where's the rear bumper? There it is. All right, so I'm pretty sure wide body, detorx wide body. Let's go ahead and run that. We don't want the, do we want dual exhaust? I don't think so. I don't think that motor actually has a dual exhaust that runs all the way out of the back of this car. So we're not really worried about that. Let's go ahead and throw in the wide body uh, bumper and see what it looks like. There we go. Definitely uh, looking good other than this huge hole. It doesn't have an exhaust pipe sticking out of it. That might be a problem. I'm not shooting any flames out of there. Oh well, we'll figure that out later. Let's go ahead and look at the trunk lid here. See what other spoiler combinations we have in that mass. Alright guys, so what do you think? There is our 200BX drift build. I think it's absolutely sick. Turned out pretty good. I love that polycarbonate hood. You can see down into the engine bay, absolutely awesome. Got those fatty 17 inch uh, tires out back. This thing is going to shred. I kind of like that wing. You guys definitely let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section below. Got a bunch of different wing options with that Detorx mod. So, uh, you know, huge shout out to him for making this, uh, you know, build a little bit better with his custom parts, right? Definitely a huge thumbs up. But uh, let's go ahead and end this video off back out in the parking lot. I want to try out that new V10 hopper. Let's see if it'll lay down some rubber. All right, guys, in our V10 hopper here. 
go ahead and take a quick look at this if you are still here in the video at this point huge shout out to you let's go ahead and get a couple of shout outs done if you guys would like a shout out get your request in down in the comment section below maybe you'll see your name in the next video for today's shout out we have andrew baker jeff kidding scooter b me and tucker french all wanted a shout out Thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Always smashing that thumbs up button. You guys can check the description below, and I'll be leaving each one of these guys' channel down there. So go check it out. Show them some love. Like I said, thank you guys for watching these videos. Thanks for always smashing that thumbs up button. Let's get back to some V10 burnout action. So thank you so much for watching today, guys. Let's go ahead and get some tire smoke rolling out of this V10 hopper. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, next episode, we will be taking that 200 BH to the track, seeing how it's going to do on the drift circuit, see if I can uh, make myself look foolish trying to drift. I'm pretty sure the car's going to do fine. Let's we'll see how my uh, drifting skills hold up there anyway. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Whoa, we're going to try not to wreck this thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.